Hi, and welcome to the weekly wrap up for this Friday, October 18th, 2024. As always, thanks for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, please hit that like, subscribe, and share button so that you can share this with other people so they can get the knowledge you're acquiring and you can hit the notification buttons to customize all the events and videos, podcasts that you would like to see. So this week's shows, we had uh, Perium with uh, Ian back again after a couple months of a hiatus, <clears throat> Andy Sheckman with Miles Franklin, and of course, Holly Siliano. Good to have her back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next week, we have uh, Nick, Vin Nick Vinyamin with a presentation on a monthly podcast that we have with him on his channel, which will give you a cursory overview of said reset and all the events uh, entangled and connected to it. We also have a reprise, my friend B who is, no, not Cabal, and is not a banker. It's, anyway, uh, <clears throat> he's going to be coming on part two. He has gotten his technical and mic issues sorted, so he felt bad about it. He wants to come back and do a reprise. So we're going to have him on <clears throat> as a reiteration and an update to where we are now from when we did it last month. David Mahoney, <clears throat> who's in Japan right now, pray for him. He was supposed to be on this week. We've moved him to next week when he's back in uh, safe to shore in Spain. And then, of course, Longtime friend Denise Bolin, <clears throat> who we haven't caught up with in a while. We're going to be having her back on. And of course, good friend and brother SG Anon. And then I'm going to be doing a special monologue podcast specifically geared towards the faith and Christian community. Now, here are the headline news. Several hundred underperforming 7 Eleven locations across North America are closing. <clears throat> Excuse me, the convenience store announced. Seven and I Holdings, the chain's Japan based parent company, revealed in an earnings report on Thursday that 444 locations are shutting down because of a variety of issues to include slowing sales, declining traffic, inflation pressures, and a decrease in cigarette purchases. A specific list of closing locations was not immediately released. <clears throat> Pardon me. The chain has more than 13,000 stores across the U.S., Canada, and Mexico, so the number of closures amounts to roughly 3% of the overall portfolio. The new CEO, CEO of Boeing announced Friday the company is cutting 10% of its workforce, which equates to about 17,000 jobs, which is threatening the possibility of bankruptcy. Dirt Cheap, a chain of extreme value stores with 60 plus locations across the Southeast has filed for bankruptcy, <clears throat> court documents indicate. The store's parent company filed documents within the District of Delaware last week. The documents indicate that stores will be holding store closing sales to be completed by the end of the year. The official social media channels of Dirt Cheap indicate that at least one store is already hosting its final sale, and another store located near the company's headquarters in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, also confirmed that, quote, store closing signs are up when contacted by Nexstar, but they had no comment on any further details. Former House of Red Hot Chili Peppers lead singer Anthony Kiedis is up for sale. Kiedis bought the home in 2004 at the height of his fame with the rock band, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and lived there for three years before selling to Hollywood director and screenwriter Akiva Goldsman, who received four Academy Awards for writing the 2001 film, A Beautiful Mind. <clears throat> the mansion spans 6,000 square feet. The home is listed for $11.25 million by agents Carl Gambino and Allison Richards of Compass, who share the listing with Drew Fenton at Carrollwood Real Estate. <clears throat> Discount retailer Big Lots announces plans to close 56 more locations across the U.S. as part of its continuing Chapter 11 proceedings. This news comes after the company filed for bankruptcy in early September and announced plans to sell itself to investment firm Nexus Capital Management. This round of closures follows previous shutdowns earlier this year, uh, bringing the total number of closed or soon to be closed Big Lot locations to be over 550. <clears throat> Carl Tavares, the CEO of a prominent automotive manufacturer, is facing challenges as competition from Chinese automakers continues to rise in Europe. In a recent interview with Les Echos, Tavares indicated that he is open to the possibility of closing factories as the market landscape shifts. He, re he reiterated these comments on <clears throat> RTL, emphasizing the growing pressure from Chinese companies in the European automotive sector, according to L Independent. Major U.S. banks have closed 754, 754 locations within the first nine months of the year. Up to 1,000 branches are set to close in total by the end of the year. 
Here are the latest up-to-date closures of major banks. So we have Bank of America with 132, U.S. Bank 101, Wells Fargo with 92, Chase 90, TD Bank 52, PNC at 48, Citizens at 37, <clears throat> Wood Forest 31, Key Bank 16, Fulton Bank 14, and Capital 112, and others then reigning in at a, a miscellaneous total of 129 branches. True Value, a well-known home improvement company, entered into a sale agreement with Monday morning after filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The Chicago headquartered company entered an agreement with Do It Best. According to the bankruptcy filing, the 75-year-old company has $500 million to $1 billion in liabilities to over 1,000 creditors while claiming $100 million to $500 million in assets. All stores will remain open with businesses remaining unaffected. Uh, since the stores, except for one company-owned store in Palatine, Illinois, are independently owned and not directly a part of Chapter 11. True Value has an international network of over 4,500 independently owned and operated stores. Walgreens said on Tuesday would be shutting down 1,200 stores over the next three years as new CEO Tim Wentworth plots a turnaround as the struggling pharmacy chain operator is hit by sluggish consumer spending and low drug reimbursement rates. <clears throat> the company also narrowly beat Wall Street's lowered estimates for fourth quarter adjusted profit and forecast fiscal year earnings that were mostly in line with expectations. As a result, Walgreens stock is trading a 30-year low, <clears throat> excuse me, and down 65% this year, making it the worst performing stock on the S&P 500 index. All 170 locations of Khan's Home Plus stores will cease to exist and all of their inventory is being blown out at 60 to 80% off. Over the summer, Cons declared bankruptcy and plan to close only a fraction of their locations across America. Hamas leader Yaha Sinwar has been killed in a strike near Gaza, the IDF announced on Thursday. <clears throat> the short report during IDF operations in the Gaza Strip, three terrorists were eliminated. The IDF and ISA are checking the possibility that one of the terrorists was Yahwa Sinwar, at this stage, the identity of the terrorists is not confirmed. In the building where the terrorists were eliminated, there are no signs or presence of hostages in the area. The forces that are operating in the area continue to operate with the required precautions. <clears throat> the BBC is cutting 185 jobs in a cost-saving measure, with the majority of those cuts coming from its news division, according to an internal memo. BBC Chief Executive Deborah Turnus made the announcement in a Tuesday email to SAF, <clears throat> saying that the cuts were a part of an overall effort to trim costs. The cuts, which the public funded broadcaster said it plans on offsetting at least a bit by opening 55 new roles. This will save the BBC 24 uh, million in um, euro or about equating to 31.2 million US. Apple Inc.'s chief people officer is leaving the iPhone maker after less than two years, according to people with knowledge on the matter marking an unusually short tenure for a senior executive at the company. Carol Surface, who started at Apple in early 2023 and reports to Chief Executive Officer Tim Cook is departing, said the people who asked not to be identified <clears throat> because the move has not been officially announced. Apple employees were notified of the exit on Wednesday. <clears throat> Excuse me, paints and coating maker PPG Industries said on Thursday that it would lay off 1,800 employees in the U.S. and Europe and close various facilities as part of a cost reduction program. Shares of the Pittsburgh PA company were up 1.3% before the closing bell on Wednesday. <clears throat> now for the precious metals and uh, oil commodities prices, as of the time of this broadcast, as always, gold as at a new to all time high in history, cracking the 2700 mark at $2,702.50. Silver at $31.78 and Brent crude at $74.50. Now here are the notable resignations and deaths. Mark Duchesne, the CEO of Northfolk ETT has stepped down from his position at the Swedish, Swedish battery manufacturer signaling troubling times for the company. <clears throat> Next Star Media Group says it's president of the CW Network. Dennis Miller is leaving the company at the end of the year. Miller will relinquish his role as CW Network's president October 31st, at which point he will transition into an advisory role with Nexstar through the end of the calendar year, the company said in an official statement. <clears throat> Liverpool has announced the death of their former Liverpool midfielder, Peter Cormack, at the age of 78. The Maryside Club confirmed that the ex-Scotland International passed away on Thursday night. 
The news comes five years after the family of the former Red revealed he was battling dementia. <clears throat> Ethel Kennedy, <clears throat> who lost her husband, Robert F. Kennedy, and brother-in-law, John F. Kennedy, to assassin's bullets, and who channeled her grief <clears throat> into raising her 11 children and pursuing a lifetime of public service, died on Thursday. She was 96. Kennedy died from complications resulting from a stroke she suffered last week. Former Rep. <clears throat> Joe Kennedy III, a grandson, said in a statement posted on X, it is with hearts full of love that we announce the passing of our amazing grandmother. Brooklyn-based rapper K.A. born Kasim Ryan died on Saturday, October 12th. He was just 52. Daniel Dan Ho, a physician who wrote for ABC Station 19, died on October 11th. He was 45. Ho joined the CBS Diversity Writing Program in 2016, securing his first staffing job on the network's Pure Genius from Jason Katams and Sarah Watson. In 2020, he joined ABC Station 19, where he rose to the title of producer in their final season. Joe Coff led Ring of Honor during the years it was owned by Sinclair Broadcasting and played a role in the original all-in event that eventually led to the creation of AEW. Sadly, MLW informs us today, October 15th, that Coff died. <clears throat> Canadian director, writer, and producer, Alvin Rakoff, best known for directing Laurence Olivier's In a Voyage Round My Father, has died at the age of 97. Cause of death was considered to be old age. His agent told Variety. He died on October 12th at home, surrounded by family. Over a career spanning more than four decades, which began when television was still only available in black and white. Rakoff was involved in over 100 films, uh, television shows, stage productions, as well as writing novels. <clears throat> Guillerme Bomba Vasconcelos, a longtime MMA veteran with appearances under the UFC and Bellator banners across, <clears throat> excuse me, 16 MMA fights, has passed away at the age of 38. Reports about his passing were first posted by friends on social media, including longtime jiu-jitsu coaches Cristiano Lazzarini and Vinicius Jaculino Magahales. Additional sources confirmed to the news on MMA fighting on Tuesday. Nobu Oyama, best known as the raspy voice of Doraemon, the beloved cartoon robotic cat from the future, has died. She was 90. Oyama, who voiced Doraemon for more than a quarter century, died of natural causes on September 29th. Her agency actors, <clears throat> Seven said on Friday. Oyama performed the voice of the blue and white robotic cat from 1979 to 2005. Akira Hisori, a chef who bridged Japanese and French cuisine for decades across some of LA's most influential restaurants, has died at 70. The legacy of former Aze and Maison Akira owner, who died <clears throat> September 26, continues to reverberate. The Japanese-born French-trained chef who worked with Joel Rabushan and for the former Emperor's Empress of Japan held popularized Asian flavors throughout the lens of French technique. Former Scotland First Minister, Minister and current Alba Party leader, Alex Salmon has died at age 69. Mr. Salmon served as First Minister of Scotland from 2007 to 2014, was the leader of the Scottish National Party on two occasions, from 1990 to 2000 and from 2004 to 2014. Sir Keir Starmer paid tribute to Mr. Salmon, calling him, quote, a monumental figure in the political world. <clears throat> Ronnie Dawson who captained the British and Irish Lions in a record six test matches before becoming one of the world's leading rugby administrators has died at the age of 92. Only Martin Johnson has since matched Dawson's record for the number of tests as Lions captain, although the Irishman nearly missed his selection to lead the touring party in 1959. <clears throat> Tony Vaz, an actor turned pioneering stunt performer who went on to found the NAACP Image Awards has died, she was 101. Her reps at Katie Cornfield Communications told Deadline that Vaz died October 4th at the Motion Picture Fund campus in Woodland Hills, did not provide any additional details. <clears throat> According to the AP in Buenos Aires, Argentina, former One Direction singer Liam Payne, 31, was found dead after falling from a hotel balcony in Buenos Aires on Wednesday, according to local officials. Tom Donahue, who led the US Chamber of Commerce for more than two decades before retiring in 2021, has died. 
the business lobbying giant announced on Monday. The chamber represents big business in Washington, spending more money than anyone else on federal lobbying and operating out of an ornate building opposite the White House. Sissy Houston has died at the age of 91, was the mother of troubled star Whitney Houston, and was a considerable music talent in her own right. A double Grammy award-winning singer of a gospel and R&B and sought after backing singer from Elvis Presley, Dusty Springfield, <clears throat> excuse me, Aretha Franklin, and many others. She was the youngest of eight children, born Emily Drinkard in Newark, New Jersey on September 30th, 1933 into a musical family. Leontine Price, one of the great opera singers of the 20th century, was a cousin, while Dion and Dee Dee Warwick were nieces. A top chef and UK restaurant boss dubbed the King of Curry has sadly passed away at age 56 as heartbreaking tributes pour in. Shabir Hussein, who founded successful Indian restaurant chain Akbar's, died after a courageous battle with cancer. <clears throat> Akbar's restaurant group posted on Facebook, and his great sadness, we announce his passing. All restaurants will now be closed and reopen on Friday, October 18th at 5 p.m. <clears throat> Donald L. Barrett, uh, who partnered with his Philadelphia Inquirer colleague, James B. Steele, to form one of the most formidable investigative duos in modern journalism, rooting out public corruption and institutional failures in stories that brought him two Pulitzer Prizes, died October 5th at his home in Philadelphia. He was 88. Sammy Basso, who served as an ambassador for Progeria Research Foundation from the age of 10, grew up and graduated with two university degrees in Italy. Progeria also was known as Hutchinson Guilford progeria syndrome is a rare genetic disorder that causes children to age rapidly, shortening their life expectancy to about 15 or 20 years. Sammy Basso passed away at only age 28. One of the more popular figures in the Texas and in football history has passed away on Friday. George Woodward passed away in Arlington, Texas, according to his family. He was inducted into the Texas a and Athletics Hall of Fame in 2018. Woodward was 69 a former district champion in the 100-yard dash and the shot put at Van Velk High School. Woodard shined immediately at Texas A&M. He set the Aggies freshman record with 604 yards, including the 100-yard uh, games against LSU, Baylor, SMU, and Rice. He also helped guide the 1975 team to a high as number two ranking in the Associated Press Top 25 and earned a piece of the Southwest Conference title. <clears throat> In New York, Jack Ponte, a New Jersey-based songwriter and record producer known for collaborations with artists such as Bon Jovi and Alice Cooper, has died at age 66. He passed away on Monday, according to an online obituary. Cause of death was not provided. Born Giacomo Pontiero in Newark in 1958, Ponte's early years included playing with a young Bon Jovi in a band called The Rest in the 1970s. While the band split, Ponte stayed in touch with Perth and Boy Rocker, even co-writing Shot Through the Heart, from Bon Jovi's self-titled debut album in 1984. <clears throat> the husband of U.S. women's water polo star Maddie Musselman has died at age 31 from a rare form of lung cancer. Pat Wopes, a former water polo player at UCLA, was diagnosed with NUT uh, keratoma in September 2023. Wopes was determined to see his wife compete in her third Olympics, which he did over the summer in Paris. Peter E. Strauss, a veteran film executive, movie producer, and pioneering entrepreneur, passed away on October 6 at his home in Beverly Hills. He was 83. Peter was surrounded by his beloved wife of 46 years, Susan, and his son, Jonathan. Over a remarkable five-decade career, Strauss left an indelible mark on the film industry. An executive vice president of Mandalay Pictures for the past 25 years, he oversaw the financing and distribution of numerous film and TV projects, including The Jacket and Air. He was instrumental in the growth of independent cinema, pioneering foreign sales and off balance sheet financing, financing for independent films. <clears throat> Richard Dick Block, the former president of Kaiser Broadcasting and an adjunct associate professor at the University of Southern California School of Cinematic Arts died on September 30th at the age of 97. Cause of death was not given and the news was confirmed by a friend and mentee, Russell Meyerson. Former Ireland and British Irish Lions captain Ronnie Dawson has died at age of 92. The Dubliner who represented Ireland 27 times between 1958 and 1965 passed away on Friday after a long illness. 
Dawson captain Ireland 11 times, led the Lions on their 1959 tour of Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. He played in six tests as Lions captain, a record which was later equaled by Martin Johnson. Atlanta radio personality comedian Wanda Smith has died. Smith was a radio personality with V103 and hosted the show Frank and Wanda in the Morning with Frank Ski. We are deeply saddened to receive the news of the passing of our very own Anthony Caniccia, founder of Santan Brewing Company, a pioneer in his field. We ask for your patience and understanding as we navigate through the journey of grief. General Sir Mike Watson, who was formerly called the Prince of Darkness, has died at the age of 80. The father of three was the chief of the general staff for three years from 2003 to 2006. Born on March 21st, 1944, the general was well-liked amongst military personnel for his fair, no-nonsense style of leadership. After graduating from Sandhurst, he was commissioned into the Intelligence Corps in 1963, before later becoming part of the Parachute Regiment. The 80-year-old served for his country in Northern Ireland, Bosnia, and was the head of the British Army before the Iraq War ensued. The media fraternity has well been thrown into the mourning of the loss of the death of a former journalist at Royal Media Services. Veteran radio presenter Martin Kihara Wagatua died on Sunday, October 13th. According to reports, the journalist succumbed to cancer at the Kenyatta University, where he was admitted. Uh, Martin is a household name in the media industry, having worked for Inuro FM, Kaya FM, and Uganjo FM. His brother, Museveni Mugatawa Badhati confirmed his demise. And that concludes the deaths and resignations. Now we can go to the commentary section. So I quote this week from Galatians 5.22, which all of you Christians should know well, but the Holy Spirit produces this types of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, which there is no law against these things. So I would encourage you folks to ask yourself in this very important and pensive season, is your life producing all of these fruits? Some of them, any of them. I would say most importantly right now, patience, gentleness, and self-control are chief and paramount importance amongst these things to work on. I work on it daily, but I also realize the, the value of it paying dividends. Guarding your mouth for it determines the course of your life. What you say in our chats reflects what's truly in your heart, be it good or bad. The Lord sees it all and he factors it all into the equation as to how much grace and mercy he will show us long term. I've also learned over the years that the difference between grace and mercy and judgment is the former are things that he gives us that we don't deserve. The latter is Jesus not giving us what we do deserve. Something to be mindful of in the days ahead. That concludes this week's, uh, this week's wrap up. As always, as we have uh, breaking news, we will bring it to you, and we do anticipate that much more will be coming in the days and weeks ahead, as you as you know, if you've been watching on our Telegram and an overall tenor of these broadcasts. Otherwise, have a great and safe weekend, uh, as it is definitely heating up right now. Buckle up for everything we've been anticipating, financial and geopolitical. Thank you for watching. Take care. God bless. Bye for now.